Hey, security pros, welcome back to my masterclass on agentic AI and cybersecurity. So today we are actually gonna get some hands on keyboard finally, uh, and we're going to enable audit D and we're going to generate some malicious traffic using atomic red team. I'm Ben from Atlantium AI and let's get started. Okay, you might remember this from last time. I did spend some time to clean up the boxes, um, but remember here is our Ubuntu machine and as part of this, we really wanna get some malicious traffic um, generated so that our Wazoo instance will have some you know, decent data for our AI agent to contact and sort through and et cetera. So we're gonna focus on these two boxes right here. That is not what I wanted, delete. These two boxes right here, enabling Audit D and Atomic Red Team. So first of all, what is Audit D? Audit D is a Linux logging utility. Um, out of the box, Linux doesn't log a whole lot, but if you enable Audit D, it can get a lot more rigorous and we can get a lot more meaningful alerts. So we have to remember that this Wazoo agent is not running at the kernel level. This is running in user land and user space. So it's not gonna see a lot of those system calls without a little bit of help from Audit D. And then additionally, we're going to run Atomic Red Team so we can generate some of that malicious traffic. Okay, let's jump into it. Okay, so we're gonna open a terminal. Let's go ahead and CD here, and I'm gonna make this a lot bigger for you guys. Okay, that might be a little too big. Let's go down one. Okay. So the first thing we need to do, go ahead and run sudo apt update. Nope, wrong password. Okay, now we're gonna do sudo apt install tech y audit d audis pd plugins. And then we're going to enable that um, daemon, excuse me, daemon agent, whatever you call it, system control enable now. Audit D. Okay, and we're gonna check the status. Pseudo system control status audit D, and we are gonna do the no pager. Scroll up so you can see we are running, which is awesome. Okay, just to verify that we're running, let's run pseudo tail uh, tac f on var log audit audit dot log. Okay, so you can see we've got this type equals um, user start, and that is what we want to see. So we are getting some data in our audit logging, which is great. Control C. Okay, so now that we've got um, audit D enabled, we need to make sure that the Wazoo agent can also see these logs. So in order to do that, we're gonna edit the agent's config, sudo nano, var osec etsy osec dot conf. Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see the config for these agents is all in these osec config blocks. Let's see, ooh, that was a little aggressive. Okay, in these osec config blocks and specifically this last one, you can see it's pointed to local file, log format, location, um, we've even got some syslog, var, um, osec logs, active responses.log, and we just need to add the audit D log. So we're gonna go enter, enter, um, and this, this one you can read off the screen, um, or you could have ChatGPT just read it, you know, create this for you. Paste, let's see if I can just to keep the styling consistent. Two spaces, two spaces, two spaces, two spaces. Okay, so you can see we now have our audit log and um, we're looking at the audit dot log for the location. So let's go ahead and do a control O. It will remind me later on those ones and click enter. And I'm gonna do control X to exit. Okay, now we need to restart the Wazoo agent. Pseudo system control restart Wazoo 
agent. Oops, wazoo dash agent. And we're going to do sudo system control status wazoo agent no pager. Okay, and we are actively running, which is great. Okay, so now we've configured audit D on our machine. Congratulations, you are now logging in Linux at a higher level, at a higher degree. So now let's generate some really nasty traffic and we'll see what Wazoo picks up. So first of all, let's go ahead and open up Wazoo. And this should just be at local host. All right, so right now we're at 11 medium severity alerts and 42 low severity alerts. Let's see what happens after we generate some malicious traffic. So let's go ahead and clear this out of our terminal. Okay, um, this one is gonna be a copy and paster. I have a blog article um, with some steps on how to run, um, essentially it'll have these copy and paste commands so you don't have to worry about typing all these in. But just we're installing some utilities, some tools that we're going to need to run Atomic Red Team. Now, I also want to say Atomic Red Team, there is some way to have like a Linux helper command to run it. Um, but in general, it's best. We're just going to install PowerShell on Linux and we're going to use the invoke atomic tests um, commandlet to run our tests because we want to pretty much run all of them. We just want to generate a lot of nasty traffic. So we're going to do a wget to Microsoft. This is just getting PowerShell installed on our machine. Okay. Let's just make sure it installed okay. So we're going to do PowerShell version. Let's see if that works. Okay, we've got PowerShell on our machine. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run PowerShell to install Atomic Red Team, um, invoke Atomic Red Team, and a few other things. So this is another copy paster. Okay. And now we are going to clone the Atomic Red Team uh, repository onto our machine. You can find them at Red Canary Co. This is a pretty big repository, so it might take a minute. So if you look in your current folder, you will not find it. However, if you CD over to opt and then do an LS, you'll see Atomic Red Team right there. Okay, so now we are going to run Atomic Red Team. Let's just go through this command real quick. Okay, so we're running PowerShell. We're gonna import, invoke Atomic Red Team, invoke Atomic Test, all cleanup. And you know what, we do need to set the location. So, let's see. Ah, there it is, okay. Alrighty, so this is another copy and paste, um, just so you can understand what's going on. We are running this as sudo, uh, so we can get as many of the tests as possible. PowerShell command, we're gonna import atomic red team, and then we're going to invoke atomic test, all of the tests. We want it to clean up its artifacts. One time I ran this and it didn't. I didn't do that, and uh, it made it really hard to use the machine. So make sure it cleans up all its artifacts. We also need to add one more flag in here, which is, let's see, path 
to atomics folder path to atomics folder and remember that's going to be um, let's see opt atomic red team atomics I believe that's what it is okay this is going to be a full send here nope a parameter cannot be found that matches all ah yes okay there is no dash for the all okay highway to the danger zone executing all atomic tests if you didn't feel like a hacker before you should feel like a hacker now here we go okay this is going to run for a long time you can stop it a little early or you can just let it run i like writing it letting it run all the way through but that's up to you so i'll see you when it's done Okay, welcome back. Uh, hope you had success in running that. Let's go ahead and check our alerts now. Before we had 11 and 42, I'm gonna refresh this. Twenty-two and 172, so that is a lot of progress. One thing I'll note, and you're probably asking yourself the same question as me, why are there no high severity or critical severities? Well, in the most recent release of Wazoo, they, for their default settings, they are very, very picky with what they pop as a high severity or a critical severity issue. Um, I tried very hard to get one of those to pop. I even tried doing this on a Windows machine, uh, et cetera, and it just kept populating my medium and low severity. So one thing to note, if you do use Wazoo, you need to define your own high and medium severity alerts. Um, just a little food for thought. But I think for now we have enough data to work with uh, as we continue to build our AI agent to interact with Wazoo. Okay, guys, thanks for listening. If you made it this far, really appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe, support the channel. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one.